welcome back to another colorful keto with Dory. I just wanted to pop in quick and do my favorite. I don't want to cook, but everybody can't starve recipe. So this is what I do at my house when, you know what, I just don't feel like cooking something, but we need a quick, easy, healthy snack. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm gonna to show you how quick, easy, healthy snack can still be a really, really lot of fun. Just about a half of a cup of shredded marble. Marble's my favorite cheese, I don't know, I like the flavor mix. So we're going to pop this in the microwave for 20 to 30 seconds. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of fun food coloring and then we're going to put them into dinosaur and mermaid mold. Now this is just for me, just for fun, because I want a little um, pasta to throw on my we're salad. We're going to make egg in a bowl, so it's gonna be a super quick meal, and we're gonna put a fun, pretty side salad with it. So we want to melt our cheese till it's not really completely melted and mix it. If you melt it down too much, it's gonna get oily on you. Now, this idea came to me from the two ingredient pasta recipe, and that is mozzarella cheese and an egg. But every time I make it with egg and then I try to boil the pasta, the shapes fall apart. So this is what I did instead. I made it just out of cheese and then I just chill them and I throw them onto either my salads or my hot dishes and then I don't have to cook them because there's no egg in it. So this pasta, <laughs> And I'll say pasta because my guy says quit calling it pasta. There's no pasta in it. It's just cheese So it's just cheese and I'm gonna add a little bit of food coloring because I want to have some fun with it now if you are food Coloring intolerant there are some really good natural options you can use for food coloring and shoot me a message And we'll do a separate video about so that. I'm just dividing this melted cheese blob of cheese for lack of better word and I'm going to add a little bit let's get green a darker green and because we're, we're gonna do dinosaurs and we're gonna do mermaids and it's gonna be so fun so I'm just gonna add one drop of green food coloring to now, if this starts to set up as you're mixing it that's the beauty of melted cheese you can just pop it back in the microwave for a moment or two but for me for what I'm doing I kind of like the blend of color so I'm gonna show it to you it's a little bit green and it's still got bits of orange in it too but because we're gonna make dinosaurs with that one I think it's gonna be a really good color variation so this is a silicone mold and I do find they work the best and I'm just going to take that cheese and I'm just pressing it into my silicone mold to get my dinosaur shape. Now we're gonna do this one a bright teal. So again, just one drop, oh, I got two in there, oops. Drop of teal and we're just going to mix it, oh nice, because I wanted a bright, bright teal anyways. So this one I'm gonna use for both dinosaurs and mermaids. And I'll let you guys see the nice, I popped in a couple for my teal seashells and a couple for my dinosaurs. Let's make this one purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> I, I think I make my food the colors that are in my hair, which I guess is kind of funny if you think about it, because today we're making purple and teal and um, bright green. So yeah, all of the colors that are in, in my hair. I've got my purple already here, and I'm gonna divide it into three because I'm going to share it between the boys and the girls pasta dish. So I'm just going to again just pop that into the little mold to get my little dinosaurs and then the remainder I'm going to put into my molds for my mermaid pastas. Now this is something that honestly is so so easy to make for your little kids. Quick, easy, we just melt the cheese, we put it in there and we're gonna chill it in the fridge just for a couple minutes. So if you have toddlers at home, this is a dream recipe for you because it's quick, it's easy, and it's just cheese. It's just fun cheese. That's our pastas, our pastas are done. I'm going to pop those into the fridge to chill and we're going to start our egg cups. Now, at my house, we have talked uh, portion size a few times. 
because of my gastric surgery, I eat less than most people. So for me, eggs, a serving of eggs is one egg. So I just do an egg cup for myself and I start with one egg. And for the other people in my house, they generally eat two to three eggs. So we're going to make a two egg cup for my brother. But first we're gonna do mine. So I've just got my egg in there. I'm gonna grab my cracked salt and pepper. Now, if you like it more a scrambled egg, poke the yolk. I, I like a little bit of a dippy egg. Dippy, that's the technical term, in case you didn't know. And then I like a little bit of my mixed Italian herb. Now this one is just an oregano one, but I filled it up with my fresh herbs from the garden. So it's just a mix of my Italian herbs. And then I am going to, I'm just gonna put that in the microwave like that right now for one. And we're gonna start the second egg bowl. So I'm gonna start with a base of ham in this one. And I'm just gonna throw a couple slices of ham in the bottom of a regular bowl. I'm gonna add two eggs to it. Now I'm going to give these ones just a little bit of a so scramble. I'm just going to take mine out and pop this one into the microwave. And I'm gonna put that one in for a minute. Now I find it takes a minute per egg. Now I wanna show you guys what this kind of looks like before I throw the cheese on it. So my egg is nice and cooked and my bacon is browned. And then I'm just gonna throw a little bit of grated cheese on top of it. Romaine lettuce that I had um, cut up from last night, but I'm gonna make it nice because I'm gonna put it on a really pretty shiny platter for me because I like pretty food. So this has been cooked for one minute so far. So it's only about halfway there. I'm gonna give the egg just a little bit of a stir and throw it back in the microwave for We're not doing anything super fancy. I've got a couple cherry tomatoes and we're going to just cut them in twos or in threes because they look prettier that on way. my plate. I'm going to cut them into threes and I'm just gonna lay them out kind of on top of my romaine lettuces. And I'm only gonna use two cherry tomatoes for me. That is, that's plenty enough for me and it'll space it out nice enough on the plate to look the way I want I'm to add a little bit of green onion. And I wanted to show you guys um, when I'm lazy and I don't feel like taking out my cutting board for this kind of stuff, I just get my kitchen shears out and I just cut it right into, I save a little bit off of the end of my onions. I soak them in water and then I grow kitchen scrap onions and you can just trim off of those. So if you wanna save some, save a little end and you can regrow that. That's hot. I'm gonna pull my sleeves down because that's hot. So his egg is all done. So I'm gonna add a little bit of grated cheese on top of his and let that melt nicely. And I'll show you guys what mine looks like. So it's all, it's not quite melted, but I'm going to reheat it just a little bit when I eat it so that I don't have to eat it cold. And then the last finishing touch on that is going to be a little bit of green onion on there on the egg cup. And usually when I serve this, I, I like to do it with a little bit of sour cream and salsa, absolutely lovely. So that's what that looks like. And I'm just gonna put that right on there with my salad. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of the green onion on my salad as well and on Jacob's salad. I, I do love me the green onion. Any spring onion is going to be a lower carb option for you than a root-based onion. So if you love onion but you're sweating the carbs, then go for your spring onions and your leeks. They're going to give you a lot of flavor and a lot less Now carb. I had picked up some, I wrote the name on it because it was a, a multiple container. So this kind of cheese, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm notorious for pronouncing things wrong. Now, they're like a great tomato sized cheese and I was hoping they would be sort of salty like a feta, but they weren't. They didn't really have a flavor. So the last couple that I had out of my last container, I put them in my feta brine in hopes that they would pick up some of that salty flavor. So I'm gonna use those and I've got it just soaking in my feta brine. So I'm gonna show you what they look like. 
they just look like that. And then I'm gonna add just a teeny little crumble of feta cheese too because feta is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite cheese in the world. Hands up if you love feta. It is done. I'm gonna pull out the pastas. We're gonna add our pastas to our salad and then we're all done. So I'm gonna pop these out and show you what they look like. That's our little dinosaur guy pasta. Our purple guy. And then I'm gonna pop out my mermaid ones. So we've got some really cool purple seashells. And I've got stars. And then this kind of a seashell. And two of these kind. I'm going to pop mine, because I'm gonna have the mermaid one, and just put them nicely with my salad. And I'm just gonna tip that down so you guys can see. And it's hard to see the colors, so I will take some really good pictures for you guys and post them.